Hello and welcome back. My name is Andreas Chat, your tech curious web designer. In this video, we will build a web crawler and get an image from Flickr. So a web crawler, also known as a web spider, can visit a specific web page on the internet and get information for us. Let me show you how we can easily build one with Python and Django. So to build our web crawler, we're using a package called Beautiful Soup. So if you look it up on Google, so we see the documentation here with a description how it all works, installing beautiful soup. And here we have the pip install command. So let's copy this line of code, go to the terminal. I'm running at the moment the server. So let's shut down the server first with control C and paste the command in here now, enter. So the package is installed now. We also need another package that lets us make requests to an external website. This package is called requests. So let's type pip install requests, enter. And we have those two packages installed successfully. Now let's put these packages into action. First, let's add two more properties to our post model. So we go to the A post folder, models to py, and we add here the artist property. It's again a char field with a max length. And we add here this parameter null is true. This is important because we already created posts in our database and they don't have this artist property on them. So not to cause any errors, we just tell here it is okay if this artist field is empty. So the artist we add here is the creator of the image on Flickr. Another property we add is the URL property. This is the URL of the Flickr page. Again with the null is true parameter. So now that we have added those two properties we can save the file and we migrate them to the database. So first we have to make the migration file. So python manage.py make migrations. And then the second step, python manage.py migrate. Great, now we have updated our database. Let's also update our form. So in views.py, we have here fields all, but we only require now the URL field where we insert the URL of the Flickr page and the body field where we write our caption. So let's change this. We add this in uh, square brackets. Square brackets are used for a list. So delete this on here. So square bracket. The first item is URL, comma, and the second item is the body. We also add a placeholder for the URL. So we add this line, URL, and the placeholder should say at URL. Okay, let's save this file now. And let's take a look at our updated create post page. We start up the server again with python manage.py run server. Go to create post page and here we see we added the URL field here with the placeholder at URL. So let's go now to our views.py file and implement the web crawler. So let's import the package from ps4, that's the name of the package, import beautiful soup. And we also import the request package. Import requests. Now let's implement it in our function. So we're receiving here the URL of the Flickr page through the form. But before we save the form, the web crawler has to get the image, the title, and the artist from the Flickr page. So here in the parentheses, we write 
commit equals false. So we're saying here, don't commit yet to the database. We have to add a few more things. And we assign this now to a variable. We call this variable post. Then we can add a bunch of additional steps in here. And at the end, we write post.save. So in here now, the web crawler can get the information and we save the post at the end to the database. So let's get started. The first step is we establish the connection to the website. So let's write website equals, and this is the line of code we need. So we use here the requests package to establish a connection to the Flickr page. And what we are saying here is get me the URL the user has entered into the form, and we access this information through the form.data property. So this website element is an object. Next step is to transform it into HTML source code. Source code equals, we use here now the beautiful soup. And first we convert this website data we get here into text, dot text. And we have to tell Beautiful Soup what tool we want to use to extract information from the website. And in our case, we use the HTML parser. So now let's find the element which contains the image we need. So the next line would be find image. Here we take now the source code and select the element on the page. So dot select. And in the code, the image I want to select is stored in a meta element in a content attribute. And here I'm saying, I am looking for a URL, which starts with live.staticflickr.com. So on the Flickr page, the element we are looking for looks like this, a meta element with a content attribute which contains the link to the image. Okay, let's get rid of this line here. The select method is giving me back a list of results. Could be one, could be more, but we are only interested in one result. So in the next step, we select the first item in the list. So let's write image equals, let's take the find image data here, find image now because it's a list and we want the first element in this list we write square brackets zero a list always starts with the index zero and let's get now the value of the content attribute which is the link of the image we are after so again in square brackets content so that means now it will only take the url which is attached to the content attribute and now we add this image to our post. Post.image. So image is a property of our post class equals image. And this image is coming from this variable here. Great, now we attach the image to our post. So let's get rid of a few spaces here. Okay, next let's find the title. So again, find title. We grab the source code and we select the H1 with the class photo dash title. That gives us again now a list of all the elements on the page which match this description. Now let's isolate the first element in this list. So title equals, we take here the list, we take the first element in the list, we convert it here into text. And what this strip function does here, it gets rid of all the white space. Sometimes you get spaces in front of the first word and this strip just cleans it up for us. 
So now we have the title. We also attach this title to the post now. So post dot title equals title. And as last one, we would like to find also the artist. So again, find artist. We grab the salt code again, and we select all the A elements this time with the class owner dash name. We grab the first item in the list, like that. We again convert it to a text and get rid of the white spaces with strip and add this artist to our post. Post.artist equals artist. Okay, this is our web crawler. So we make a connection to the website. We have here our source code with the web crawler. Here we find the image. Attach the image to our post, we find the title and find the artist. And then we save the post to the database. So let's do a test. Save the file, go back to our website, refresh the page. Okay, let's click the link here, let's find an image on Flickr. Let's add this image here. A beautiful image of a winter landscape. We copy the URL. Add the URL here and add a caption. Winter masterpiece. Okay, submit post. And voila, Django created for us this post now. It grabbed the title from the Flickr image. It added the picture itself. This is our caption. What we're missing here is the artist of the Flickr image. So let's add this one now. So we go to our template, posts, home. And we can see here we still have John Doe. Let's swap this with our artist variable. So in curly brackets, post.artist. And let's also add the URL to the Flickr page in this href attribute here, post.url. Save the page, refresh the page here, and there we go. We added now the artist of this image to the post. And if we click on it, we go to the Flickr page. Great. So that's it for this video. We successfully created our web crawler. In the next video, we will learn how to delete and edit a post. See you at the next one.